happy stay here. Welcome everybody. It's a sunny day here in England, so I thought I would come at you today with a video about carb cycling. Because you know, carb cycling is all over the internet, and if you hear this video now, then you probably read 101 of the articles or watched other videos on it, and it's just left you confused and unsure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply explain carb cycling for you today. I'm going to get the basics of what carb cycling is and how to break it down so you can use it for fat loss. So if you want to know how to use carb cycling, then keep watching this video. Thank you for tuning in to Specific Personal Training and just quickly if you want to stay up to date with all the latest content from this channel then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. Before we start I just want to throw a massive disclaimer out there and that's because the fitness industry loves to sensationalize everything you know this is the best diet ever calories don't count do this exercise for 10 minutes a day and you'll lose 20 pounds you know, while carb cycling does work, don't believe all the sensationalism behind it, you know. Does carb cycling work? Yes. Um, is it an effective way to burn fat? Yes. Is it the be all and end all? No. Like every diet works at some point for a certain amount of time, whether it's intermittent fasting, keto, carb cycling, you know, they all work. So what is carb cycling? Well, the basics of carb cycling is some days you eat higher carbs, some days you eat lower carbs. That is really it. It is that simple. The basics of it, um, you know, so you have your daily or your weekly calorie intake for the week. Some days you eat higher carbs, some days you eat low carbs. So then the next question is how best to cycle those carbs to get the best effect out of them. Well, what most people do, and my advice to you is as well, is to cycle them with your training days. So on the days that you are training, they will be your high carb days. And on the days that you are resting, they will be your low carb days. So as an example, let's say you have a full-time worker, kids, and they only train three days a week. So that would be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, those will be your high carb days. And on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, they will be your low carb days. It's really that simple. Who sees how easy carb cycling is? Um, if you get it so far, then give me a yes in the comments below. So why do people choose carb cycling? Well, it allows people to moderate their diet without worrying about every calorie, whether you're just trying to maintain, build lean muscle, or burn fat it allows you to not be so stringent with your diet now does that mean that calories don't count no absolutely not and anyone that tells you that is telling you false information the general rule of thumb still applies um, you need to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight and you need to be in a calorie surplus to gain weight and sugar is still sugar so on your high carb days gorging out on ice cream is not the same as eating a healthy amount of sweet potato and rice so no matter what nutritional plan you follow calories still count and is the number one thing that needs to be in check for you to succeed in your diet so if you're interested in carb cycling give it a try you know the diets take four to six weeks to kick in um, and to really see an effect. So if you want to try carb cycling, go for it. Give it four to six weeks, see how you feel on it and see the results that you get. So what's the easiest way to get more carbs into your high carb days? You can add more oatmeal or fat-free yogurt to your breakfast, have sweet potato for lunch or more rice with your dinner. 
on the low carb days get rid of all of that and instead try adding more nuts or more eggs into your meals the key is not to complicate things particularly when it's a new diet and like you're a beginner in this diet the key is to keep it simple don't overcomplicate things and give it an honest try track things and give it an honest try for yourself and don't let anyone else tell you it sucks or that this diet is better or that that diet is better give it an honest try for yourself and see what results come and then make up your own mind afterwards so thanks for watching this video um, and if it has helped you out then please do give it a like and a share as that does help me spread more information to you guys if you have any questions then hit me up in the comments below with regards to carb cycling or anything else um, in the description section below will be the links to my other social media so check them out give me a follow on there too and lastly don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications to catch up with all the latest content from us and while you're waiting for more content click on one of these two videos and i'll see you over there now